So I actually lo just love mud and, and making things and touching things. So the way I work is very physical. And um, I've always made things ever since I was a child. The work is about biodiversity and the land around us and people, and that's exactly how I work. And I would say my current body of work really, it took off when if, if a number of years ago now, I just dug up a bit of my flower bed and I put it in the kiln to fire as an experiment and the black clay or soil, as it is because it was topsoil, just turned bright red. I was absolutely mesmerized by this and um, I've, I've never looked back since. It's just, so I suppose that that was the starting point. I work with the, the plants that are around me and in, in Glasgow particularly, you know, you have weeds that just arrive on the, on the wind and I love, I just go out, for, you know, I walk down the street and I look at the, the, the weeds as it were because they're not necessarily weeds but I, and I look at their textures and forms and uh, I pick them up and I embed them in the bowls. And I feel that sort of the way in which they've arrived there it sort of mirrors how city residents often arrive on the wind. We come in and we're migrants. I have to make to feel complete as a person. So I al I've always made, I always will, but I like sharing it also through, through teaching. And it, it's the process of engaging with the world around and also the environment and the, and the, and the, and the landscape. It's a form of a imagining when I'm working and picking the plants and out walking so that yeah, there's a dialogue going on.